Hi, I'm Brooks Basson, and I work with Nexon Pruitt's financial institutions and creditors' rights practice groups. When a business loan is delinquent or in default, but there's still the potential to right the ship, two options a lender may consider in resolving the problem loan are a loan modification or a forbearance agreement. You've heard the term troubled debt restructuring, or TDR. This is when modifications and forbearance agreements are used. For starters, let's do a quick comparison of the two. The loan modification, it's what the name implies. It modifies the original terms of an existing loan, such as extending the term of the loan, or lowering or raising the interest rate, or adding additional collateral if the loan is secured. A loan modification is not a refinance or innovation. The existing loan is not paid off or replaced with a new loan. The terms that are not modified remain in place unchanged. Loan modifications are typically permanent. The term that is modified remains a permanent change to the loan. A forbearance agreement is a contract between a secured lender and borrower where the lender agrees to forbear from exercising certain rights or remedies under a loan that's in default, such as refraining from foreclosing on real estate collateral or refraining from replevin, which means recovering personal property collateral or refraining from placing a borrower into receivership, meaning having a court appointed receiver take over the operation of the entity borrower and its accounts. And that's done in return for the borrower satisfying certain conditions. With a forbearance agreement, the parties are doing much more than simply modifying the terms of the loan. The lender is agreeing to hold off on exercising its remedies upon default in exchange for the borrower taking certain actions within a specified limited time frame. A forbearance agreement is used when circumstances have deteriorated to the point where modification is not an option, but a workout is still possible. And a forbearance agreement is a temporary measure in contrast to the loan modification, which is typically permanent. Modifications and forbearance agreements are common tools to get the borrower back on track, or when the parties are unable to get things back on track, the forbearance agreement at least can be used to minimize the loss to the lender. What I've just discussed is a simple overview of modifications and forbearances, but I hope it's been helpful in giving you a general understanding of these arrangements. If you have further questions regarding this topic, please do not hesitate to contact us.